here on a chilly but beautiful March day in Tuya, Latvia, at the seaside. I came actually looking for seals, but haven't seen any, so I thought I would record this video for you today. The, today's question is, why do I feel worthless and that I'm not good enough? Believe me, you are not alone. Millions upon millions of people feel exactly the same way you do. In one way, you're fortunate to even recognize this. Most people never even realize they believe this deep inside. So you've really taken the first step in overcoming these feelings or these beliefs. I call these feelings core beliefs or shadows. They sit deeply within you and are often hidden from your conscious awareness. They come in various flavors, saying things like, I am worthless, I'm a loser, I'm not lovable, I'm not deserving, no one is going to love me, I screw up everything I do, nothing goes right for me, I'm not good enough, I'm a failure, I'm a fraud, I'm so stupid, and many other shadowy statements. These statements are always presented in the first person as if you are telling yourself these things. There's a trick here. You've got to know that this inner voice is always lying to you. These negative core beliefs are always a lie. And if you want, you can imagine it's not you saying these things. Millions of people from every walk of life and every financial level carry core beliefs like this. I have met and worked with clients who have experienced extraordinary financial success, who still feel not good enough deep inside. I've met people who are extremely successful in their careers, who hate themselves and feel worthless. I've worked with people who are well thought of, have great families and seemingly perfect lives, who feel they're not deserving at the very depths of themselves. Every single person who's ever come to me with depression has at least one of these core beliefs within them. Core beliefs like this can also lead to other mental illnesses. These core beliefs influence your decision-making processes, your self-image, choices, relationships, work, financial situations, mental health, and even physical health. Ignoring these shadows is not productive and always allows them to continue influencing your life in so many ways. It's essential to become aware of them, to see them for what they are, and then deal with them appropriately. These core beliefs are usually taken on unconsciously during childhood, or even as a fetus before discernment and a sense of identity is achieved. Later in life, they can be adopted due to negative experiences. While it's possible to deal with these shadows on your own, it can be difficult unless you have the tools to change them or dissolve them. It takes a great deal of constant introspection and making use of those tools at your disposal to change or dissolve these core beliefs. I usually recommend working with a good psychotherapist who has experience in helping people at this depth of personality. It does take time, it takes work, it takes lifestyle changes and commitment to dissolve these shadows, but you can certainly do it. You really can. Here's a beginning practice you can use to stop these self-destructive beliefs, or at least to make them powerless to affect you. Let's try this for a few minutes. Get quiet, and then pay attention to the voice inside you that says whatever it is that it's trying to tell you in a negative way. Listen to exactly what it's saying to you. Again, it usually speaks in the first person and will even feel or sound like you, like you're telling yourself this. Now imagine that this inner voice is a cartoon character and put it outside of yourself. Examine every aspect of it. Get to know this cartoon character. See it for what it is. Be honest with yourself. Don't judge it. Don't hide anything. 
don't fight with it. Just examine it like you would be examining a stone you found on a beach or in a forest. Recognize that it's lying to you. When you recognize it's lying to you and that it's just a cartoon character, it will begin to lose power. If you need to pause this video and work on that, by all means do so. Now, from an objective perspective, recognize that since this is a cartoon character and it's lying to you, the truth must be that you are not worthless. The truth must be that you are valuable, worthy, lovable, and much more. This is a very simple explanation of the first step in a longer therapeutic strategy I use with clients. It's not easy to do this on your own, but it can be done. It is far, far easier and more effective to do this with a good therapist who can support and guide you through this process and the entire therapeutic journey. To change these core beliefs will be a lot of work, but it will change your life for the better in so many ways. It's worth the effort. It's worth the time. It's worth your energy to do this. If at all possible, I suggest working with a therapist on this. It will make your life so much better and more fulfilling. I've posted many articles and even a book about how to overcome these feelings of worthlessness and being not good enough and posted everything at the lifesanswers.org website. You can read more there and put these practices into action in your life if you want to do this on your own. Of course, you're welcome to contact me for support in this process if you wish to commit to it. I'm happy to help as much as I can. You can reach me through the lifesanswers.org website. There's also guided meditations. One's called Dissolving the Shadows, and one is called um, The Light Sphere, and both are available at lightunlimitedpublishing.com. You can download those. You can work with those guided meditations if you like. So for now, again, contact me if you need support or need any help or have further questions about this. Take good care, and I will look forward to talking with you again soon. Bye for now.